So hello and good evening. This is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and today I have a very special guest. Her name is Imke Feldman and I am pretty sure that most of you already know who she is but for those of you that do not yet know her she is actually like one of the power query M gurus that I know and I'm aware of. Um, so extremely good with power query. She shares a lot, a lot of her knowledge on her blog. Let me show you. This is her blog, the B Accountant, like the accountant, the BI Accountant, B Accountant. And here you can see, uh, or you will be able to read um, all kinds of uh, Power Query tips and tricks. She is extremely, extremely good. So we actually got in touch. Uh, she has been publishing M functions in her GitHub account for quite a while. She's also sharing the M functions as blog posts, as you can see here. This is a function to retrieve dates between two dates in Power Query. And uh, she was wondering if I could help others to understand how to reuse M functions. And it is a fantastic idea because you will get uh, you know, the functions already made for you, you just need to copy and paste. But if you are like really beginner, please don't tune off. This is very, very easy to do and I, I'm going to show you how. Um, but perhaps you need to know what an M function is first. So functions in Power Query are basically uh, rows of code you know, when you do things in Power Query, code is written on the background. And uh, what these M functions do, let's go into her library. We go here to the library. And if we click on here, you, you will see a lot of codes, you know, tons and tons of lines of codes, depending on how difficult the function is. And what this does is just basically allows you to do something without you needing to write a line of code. So in this case, this function, what it does is you put a start date, you put an end date, and then it will give you a list of dates in between. So it's like super useful. Otherwise you will have to find what functions do I need to use to do that in Power Query. Um, so she actually set up a list of functions that she is going to continue updating, which is really, really cool. And uh, she thought that it would be very good if, you know, we all knew how to reuse these functions. So sh we can actually start using them in our projects. So it is very easy to do this. I'm going to show you how to use this list, lead, uh, list interval and you will see. So hang around with me because this is super easy and extremely useful. So we have here in the library, we're going to check this. To be able to use it, you click on it, and then you click on raw. And what raw does is just gives you the lines of code without nothing else. So you select Control A to select all, Control C to copy, and then we're going to go to Power Query, Power BI, and paste this function. So here we are in Power BI, as you can see, this is a brand new file, nothing, no data in it whatsoever. What we need to do is we go to get data and this time we're going to choose a blank query, okay? Because the code that we're going to have, we are not going to create any code ourselves by clicking here, we already have a code, Imke did that for us. So we click on advanced editor we just delete that and we paste her code, okay? Click on done. And here you will see a description of what this function does. Creates a list of dates according to the chosen interval between start and end. And uh, here you can uh, select if you would like to have day, week, month, quarter, year. So let's try it out. We select a start date in December, for example, uh, end date today. I re I'm pre-recording this in case you're wondering. And uh, we select a date interval. 
So if we select the days, it will give us all days between the 4th of December to the 15th of January, okay? Click Invoke, and here we have it. So instead of writing, I, not that one, instead of writing all this code, the only thing you need to do is copy paste and then use the function to get your dates. So it's like super easy, right? Um, something to know about Imkis codes. Um, let's go back here, library. So she has blog posts on some of these functions, not all of them, okay? So in this case, for example, she has a blog post on that specific function. So you can come here, you will get a link uh, and you can see how this is used. In other cases, she doesn't. So you have to click on it and go to, 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 let's get that one and go to, oh no, there's no documentation on all. Uh, perhaps she is updating it now, but so here you have, for example, documentation exports the current table to CSV. The first argument is reference to the table. The second is, you know, the possibility to document these Power Query files. I don't know if it came like a while ago, but I've just seen it for a while ago. So this is the documentation part that you saw here. You see, so whatever you see here is what she wrote in here. And I don't know if this is new to Power Query and that's why she hasn't she doesn't have it for all the functions, but hopefully she will update that. And also, uh, at the moment, there is no link to the blog post in case there is one, but uh, we talked about it and she said that she will try to uh, do that. She will try to put the link in case there is documentation, like a blog post for that code. So really, really useful, right? Give it a go, try her other functions, uh, get used to it. I mean, if you are not very good at uh, M, this is a golden opportunity to be able to do super advanced things. Uh, if you are good, but you know, you just want to reuse something that somebody else did, this is a fantastic way to do it. We will be showing you more things in the future. We've already planned to show you how to export uh, data from P or import data from PDF into Power BI. There is a function also, I will show you next week how to do that. And we're also working on the Azure, uh, export the data to Azure uh, function. So those are two really good functions that she has in store for us and uh, can't wait to show you, okay? So yeah. So this is all for today. How cool are these functions? I think they are absolutely brilliant. And there are more people sharing functions. So it's, if you see function, for example, Chris Webb is also sharing functions. I have some functions on my GitHub account also. Uh, it would be great if Microsoft would have like a library for all the functions. Hopefully it will come soon. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think they are fantastic. If you also think they're fantastic, click on like so we all know and we will continue doing more videos in can i uh, about this um, if you want somebody else to know about it make sure you share the video they will help others and if you're new to my channel i publish power bi videos every monday wednesday and friday monday power query fridays dax and wednesday power bi so subscribe so you don't miss anything and click the bell to receive notifications when i publish a new video but uh, this is all for today. Have a great evening. Bye.